small video. It's the 15th of, I think it's the 15th of September 2020. It's going to be a hot day. A good treat for all of us um, in some ways because as COVID restrictions are coming down again, people are restricted to only meeting in groups of six and there's loads of other stuff going on. The, the virus is rapidly spreading. Um, which was to be expected. Anyway, I'm not going to be talking about that all the time. But basically, I've got out today while the buses are still running and I can still get out. I've got a lot to do in the winter if I can't get out. Lots and lots of family tree work to do. So here's the quarry. I'm hoping in a minute when I get up a bit higher, I can see the Bamwell Hill Fort. That's what basically I'm doing here. I've been doing a lot about Bamwell lately. And uh, <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to try and get some views and um, come here to the quarry where there's good views from high up there. There's also peregrine falcons apparently here somewhere. I think I've seen them actually in the past. I've videoed them. Um, then I'm going to make my way to Dolbury and Rowborough Hill Fort, which is much higher up than. Um, Bamwell Hill Fort, but it doesn't mean I'll be able to see anything, no, because it's that much further away, you see. But I might be able to see something when I get up there in the quarry. This is where they usually bring kids on adventures to do um, abseiling. The gates were open the other day, but there is sort of a way in round the back. Um, there's all sorts of views from here. I videoed it all before. If you go down there, you'll get another view of the quarry, the little quarry down there. But I thought I'd get out before there's any activity with cars and lorries arriving or anything. Looks pretty empty though. The last time I came, I did that side. I didn't come up this way. Um, but today I'm, and it could be that, that that would be a really good view from there. But um, as it is at the moment, I'm coming up this way. So this is Samford Quarry. And um, I've got a very heavy backpack on at the moment. Because they said it's going to push 25 plus today, that means no, hardly any wind, very hot in the heat. I've put my shorts on for the first time probably for a month because the weather changed in August. August was terrible. Um, I thought I was going to put them away for the year, um, but I've got them out again the last couple of days. I cycled the other day with them on along the strawberry line. Catching different glimpses of Bamwell Hill Fort. A protected monument, apparently. But also, a bit at risk in some ways, because um, the woods around it are being sold off. Which, in one way, someone might say, well, that's protecting the hill fort, because then you're not going to have the public coming in causing damage. It'll be privately owned. But they should still, I think, allow some sort of access. Otherwise, it's them and us in it all the time, with them having most of it. Yeah, so there's a good place up there for birds to nest. But of course, it isn't the nesting season now, I don't think. So, at the moment, there's all this vegetation in the way here. I think last time I came here, I had good views over there. So I've got to go up even higher now. I'm a bit out of breath, so what I'm going to do is just come over here for a minute. View the scene of the rock face. Then I'm going to turn off and take photos for a bit while I progress further up. <sighs> yeah, 
has a really warm day. You can feel the heat already. It's um, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Because of the Covid crisis, basically the buses are running an hour later and they finish an hour earlier. So I've got to make my mind up where I want to pick up that bus later. Right, over and out everyone for now. Right folks, look ahead. I'm, going, I'm halfway up the quarry. There's a really good view of the hill fortlet. From here. Crooks Peak's right over there somewhere. There it is. The digger's down there doing a bit of tidying. There's the big trees on top of the hill fort. What I'm expecting to be able to see as I get higher is the actual plain. As I get higher, I'm hoping to be able to see the plain with that big tree. That's the plan of getting up a bit higher. It might have to be from quite a distance. So there it is, Banwell Hill Fort. I'm going to do a little video, a bit more video in going up here. I'm hoping when I get up on that ridge a bit further up in a minute, I might be able to see the plane. When I'm right up there. That's plan A. Meanwhile, we've got this beautiful fort. Beautiful, um, could be that I don't see it. Yeah, I reckon I will. I reckon I will be able to see it. I said, there's Crook's Peak right over there. Done that this year, been up there. I've been everywhere, believe me. Like I say, they use this place for, um, it's a redundant quarry now. Uh, I don't know if they'll open it up again. It is dangerous, you've got to be careful around here because there's landslides. You know, it's not a safe place to climb over here. I mean, they know what they're doing when they do the abseiling on that side. Also from here, you can see quite clearly the Hinkley point work that is going on, laying underground electric cables. See, you can see all the work. That's a busy road there. Top of the hill for it. Hopefully, we'll come into view soon. Over and out for a minute, take a picture. Right, here's uh, me zooming into Banwell Hill. Not Banwell Hill, Banwell Hill's there where the tower is and the caves and the field with. Um, Top of that tree there that are filled with the beard stone in it. But you come down a bit. There we go, those beautiful elms. I think they're elms. That is the top of Barnwell Hill Fort. And all the woods around are being sold off. Now somebody sat on the seat we're always gonna sit. So basically this is actually Dead in line for the hill fort anyway. I've taken some photos. I'm just making sure it's as clear as possible. So that's the hill fort there. Let's see the plain, the plateau. Steep home in the, right in the distance there, steep home, bring down, steep home there, Western Supermare in the foreground there. Bring down. And of course our hill fort, which is over there, look, Western Worldbury Hill Hill Fort. 
just going to turn off for a minute. And of course I live down that way somewhere, not far from that fair ride, down there on the seafront. Coming back to the Banwell Plateau again. Over that way we've got Crook's Peak, Waverley Down, over there. Right, over there for a minute. Oh, did I? The bit I did, I might have to go back up. I forgot to turn it on. I'll have to go back up. Add it on standby. Didn't record. There's a there's a plateau. It's quite a good view from here anyway. I need to get in there. Right, let me just um turn off a minute. I'm just trying to see if there's a way in. Turn off a minute, sure. Right, I've got a feeling I forgot to turn on the video a minute ago. It could have been on standby. Anyway, I'm up at the quarry over at Sanford. With beautiful panoramic views here. Well, not panoramic. Um, 180 degrees at least. There's Banwell Plateau. Banwell Iron Age Hill Fort. And there's the tree which I have stood under and had a picnic once. All around it is the wood which is being sold off. It is all being sold off. Access is denied. There's no public right of way. This beautiful little jewel that should belong to Barnwell or and Sanford, both of them. Even that hill over there is just about allowed with restrictions in the wood. Um, I can't believe that people can just take this stuff from, from the public. You know, this is English heritage. This is um, our heritage, you know. It just seems terrible, really. It just sums up our society, doesn't it? Sums up our society. Capitalist. Them and us. Inequality. Disempowerment. Beautiful. Lovely view. I'm going to get even a higher view eventually when I go um, yeah, even a higher view when I go up onto the hill fort in a minute. Well, it'll be about an hour, maybe two hours till I get up there. But I'll see it from an even further distance. So, but at the moment, this is quite a good distance and a good impression of the plateau, the cone-shaped hill fort that would obviously have been bigger and perhaps joined up with Barnwell Hill further over. Over and out for now, everyone. Beautiful tree. Right, it's a really, really gorgeous September 
Monday morning, around about the 15th, 2020. And normally I go away September so over the past five years. Five, six, over the past six years, if not more, I go away in September. I usually go away May, April, May and September. This is the first time I haven't been away. Mainly because I haven't got a vehicle at the moment, but um, also because of the COVID. But it's a lovely day. It's enough to make you forget about all the restrictions that might be coming our way. I'm glad I've got out here now while I can. I, I can walk here if I really, really want to. Weston's right, it's a, it's a way off. There's the hill fort, look, Manwell Hill Fort, with that lovely tree. Uh, it's peak at the moment. It'd be interesting to see this in the winter when all the leaves have died off the trees. I reckon it'd be beautiful. I should come back in, in late autumn, November-ish, December. I should come back and I should take some pictures of it in different seasons. Because that's going to be spectacular, I reckon, that scene with different coloured browns and yellows. There's our hill fort. Very encroached in the middle, isn't it? Look at it. Look at that. Splits it in two. The... Fortunately, that's Ashcombe Park. That's really saving our hill fort, that park. Because otherwise, look, they're creeping up. Since I've lived here, or over the last 12 years, there's a couple of places creep right up. Lighthouse over there, flat home. Yeah, ours is a big hill for it, but getting encroached. And if the tide comes up, people want to get up. That's probably what they're thinking of here with this hill. Let's move up the hill. Depends how high the tide's come in though, doesn't it? Right, so I had a little tiny break there. Drink of water, banana, and a Yorkie, actually, with raisins in it. I thought, that'll keep me going now till I get to the top of the hill for it. This is the quarry at Sanford. And some of the quarry's been falling apart a bit. But I'm now going to go... I'm now going... Um, for about a good hour or so to take get me to the top of the hill fort. But I am going to do the secret steps today, actually. I'm going to do the secret steps. I think I am. Yeah, you are. You're doing that way. Okay. Over and out, everyone. Over and out. For now. Another view. Since I'm doing bam well, I just want to do it properly. Do Banwell big. I just love that tree. Love it. King and Queen of the Hill Fort, they are. There's two of them actually there. There's four, but the two big ones. Over and out.